Welcome grade tens. Our focus in today's lesson is on biomes. So our biosphere, which is our living world, can be divided into biomes. Now what is a biome? Biomes are large natural areas. Each of these areas having their own plant and animal life. Each of these areas having their own weather conditions, their own climate, right? When I speak about precipitation, I mean it can be raining there or it snows there or it hails there. Okay, so what are biomes? They are natural large areas. Each of these areas have their own type of plants growing there, their own animals living there. And this is also determined by the type of weather that is experienced there and the type of climate in that area. Okay, so what have we discovered? We have discovered that different parts of the earth have different climates. Let's look at the slide, children. You will notice that different parts of the earth can be hot and dry for most parts of the year, while another region can be cold and covered with snow for most parts of the year. Then you may find that some regions may be just hot and rainy for most parts of the year. Can you see that different areas experience different weather or climate conditions during most parts of the year? Then you get different organisms that might be suited to live in these different climates. Okay, for example, look at the camels. Are these camels suited to live in an area where it is cold and snowing all the time? No, right? A camel is suited to live in hot, dry regions like the desert. Okay, look at our polar bears. Do you think our polar bear can survive in a desert area? In a desert biome? No, a polar bear is suited to live in cold areas that are covered with snow. His body is covered with fur. Can he survive the heat of the desert biome? No. We say that these organisms are adapted to survive in these regions. This polar bear is adapted to survive in this very cold biome. How is it adapted to survive? Look at our polar bear. Do you notice his thick fur coat? Yes, that helps him to keep warm in these cold conditions. Did you know that his skin underneath all that fur is black in color? That black skin color is able to absorb the heat from the sunlight, helping them to stay warm as well. But did you know that fur even grows on the bottom of their paws? Yes, and this also protects the polar bear against the cold, snowy surfaces, providing them a good grip on the ice as well. How does this camel survive the heat of that desert? Well, these camels are very well adapted. Let's look at their feet. They have large flat feet and these flat feet help them to spread their weight on the sand. On the top of their bodies, they have thick fur, providing them with shade, while the rest of their bodies have very thin fur, allowing them to lose heat easily. But how do these camels survive in the desert without water? If you notice, you will see that the camel has a hump, right? But the camel's hump does not hold water at all. It actually stores fat. And the camel uses this fat as nourishment when food is not available, when food is scarce. So these animals are adapted to survive in their different environments.